Hello, welcome back. Long time, well, it feels like long time now, see. It's not been that long. I'd firstly like to apologise for the delay in all the vlogs going up. It takes a long time to edit. I'm not a very good editor. I just, so it takes me quite a while and I've been dead busy with coming back from holiday, work, life is quite busy at the moment. So, sorry, bear with me. Everything will go up when it goes up. Secondly, welcome back. Or if you're new, hi, I'm Emma. I live in a house. I have a dog. Dog is currently sniffing me because I'm stinky. I So it's Saturday. Sam is playing a gig festival. Um, it is, what time is it? 1.46. So Sam was meant to play at like 11, but I think it got delayed. Anyway, I'll let him tell you about that because I don't think it went very well. <laughs> Um, anyway, so Sam's out, Sam's my boyfriend, life partner, homeowner, share, shared dog parent, that's who Sam is. Anyway, he's out and about, he's in a band, oh my god, I'm just like weird vomiting. My boyfriend Sam, in a band, playing a festival today. Anyway, we'll move on. I've been to yoga this morning, a bit bougie. Um, I normally go to yoga on a Monday night, uh, once a week, but they were offering a free class for a new instructor this morning on Saturday morning, so I went to that. It was good. I feel all stretched and renewed. I'm energised. I love yoga. It is a bit hippy-dippy, but it makes you feel so good. And it was lovely and sunny this morning, but now it's kind of rainy and a bit miserable, so that might put the plans I had bed. I was going to do loads of stuff in the garden today or in the greenhouse um, but I might have to show you that tomorrow. I don't think I want to be out in the rain so bear with I'll show you all that tomorrow and I've been out and about shopping. Um, after yoga I went to my sister's and then I went shopping we needed some food bits. Uh, we're babysitting for my two nieces tonight um, so I thought I would get some food bits in for them and for breakfast and stuff like that. So I thought for fun, we'd do a little shop, shop haul. Wow, brain's not working. So I went to Lidl and Aldi for food. I also went to B&Q for garden stuff, but that's, that's gonna be tomorrow now. So I thought I'd show you what I got from Lidl and Aldi. I love watching crap like this, so. I thought I'd show you. So as I said, we're babysitting my two nieces, so I got some like nicer food. I got some croissants and pan au chocolat for breakfast in the morning. And then it's easy and I don't have to have about with toast or cereal or whatever. I got some squash, that's for me. Some, oh, I've not tried this. I normally have coconut milk in my coffees, iced coffees. Because I just don't really like the taste. I do drink milk, but I don't really like the taste of it. So I normally have coconut milk. But I saw this in Lidl and I feel like it's a dupe for like Oatly Barista. So I'm going to try that in my coffee next week. What else did I get? Oil. We needed that. I also got from Lidl. I was going to get these from B&Q, but they just had them in Lidl. So the cheaper, I thought I'd get some. Now the, if you don't know, we grow loads of stuff in our garden. Well, loads. We have a new build garden, so it's not that great for growing stuff, but we have two vegetable beds and a little like uh, lean-to greenhouse. So just like a metal frame with a plastic cover, which I will show you in tomorrow. But we're coming to the end of the summer growing season. So things we've got like beetroot, they'll be coming up onions they'll be coming up carrots are almost ready garlic's almost ready so we're going to have some room in the beds um and we've upgraded our greenhouse so we've got more room in the greenhouse so i thought we could plant some more seeds so from what i've read on the internet because i'm not an expert i just do with what i've seen on tiktok and youtube um you can grow stuff at the end of you know end of july august september ready for winter so I've got some potatoes I'm going to plant because then you can harvest them at Christmas. Um, I've already got the seed potatoes left over from our summer crop. And then 
from my research, these are the things you can plant. They might fail, not sure. But anyway, I'll show you more about this tomorrow, but we've got cauliflower seeds, radish seeds, carrot seeds, leek seeds, Swiss chard. If you don't know, we have two pet rabbit bunnies. So I always like growing things like this because then they can eat it. And we don't have to buy lettuce from the supermarket. We're growing kale at the moment, which is doing great. And rabbits are eating that. And also because we've got more room in the greenhouse now, um, I'm gonna plant some beans. Never planted beans before, so we'll see what that's like. I'm excited. Anyway, moving on from the boring stuff. For tea tonight for the kids, I'm gonna just do like freezer buffet. I could order pizza or something, but then it's gonna cost an arm and a leg and I can't really be bothered. So I just got a pizza for us all to share. Oh, some kale for the rabbits. We do have to top up what they eat, they eat a lot. Uh, oh, this needs to go in the freezer. This is melting at a rapid rate. I got some fake Ben and Jerry's fish food. This is, well, Ben and Jerry's fish food is my favorite Ben and Jerry's. My favorite ice cream of all time is haagen strawberry cheesecake, just in case you're wondering. But fish food, Ben and Jerry's, and I got the little version, and that needs to go in the freezer ASAP. Ooh. Potato wedges. Chicken nuggets, can't go wrong. Mayo, ketchup, baby bells. These are my life and soul. If I do not have baby bells in the fridge, I get a little bit sad. And also, 42 calories, five grams of protein. So if you're into the gym, you're into your protein intake, baby bells, top tip. I also got a new coriander plant because when we went on holiday, ours in the herb garden died a painful death. I was gonna replant that. I do just use supermarket herbs, plant them in the garden. You have to separate them. Um, I'll show you tomorrow. Let's move on. Yeah. Popcorn for snacky snacks. We'll probably watch a film or I'm gonna get like Mario Kart on the telly and stuff like that. So popcorn for that. This is Barbie the movie popcorn. They'll like that, it's pink. Fake Pringles. Mozzarella sticks, the elite. The elite snack buffet food. More little things for snacks, buttons, Maltesers. Maltesers are my favorite chocolate in the whole wide world. They're the best. I'll fight you. Fake M&Ms, again, just for like cute little movie snacks. Coffee pods for the Nespresso because coffee a day keeps the doctor away. Also, if you're into protein, I'm like pretending I'm like a gym gym bunny. I do go to the gym, but only like three times a week, 45 minutes. So, but I do try and eat protein, protein first. Um, I get these. They do these in Lidl as well, but these are the Aldi ones. And they're like fake refrigerators. So these are like 99p per packet. And how many is in that? 17 grams of protein. So these are good for like an afternoon snack or if you're on the go, I like to have some of those in. So I got those milk because Sam almost cried this morning because we didn't have any milk for a cup of tea and if Sam doesn't have a cup of tea oh my god all hell breaks loose and what else did I get oh face wash wow how exciting so that's my Aldi and Lidl haul oh no it's not <laughs> I lie I also got these grow bags from Aldi I did look for these in B&Q but I couldn't find any so I just stumbled across them in Aldi I wasn't looking for them there's three in there for five pound and I'm gonna do like carrots and leeks in these instead of in the vegetable beds this time round because our vegetable beds, again, I'll show you tomorrow properly, but our vegetable beds are not very deep. They're only like, you know, yay deep. So the carrots are coming out quite stubby. So when I plant the winter veg, I'm gonna do them in these grow bags and see how they come out. It's all an experiment. Anyway, that is how long have I been going? 10 minutes, wow. Brilliant, cut that down. Um, so yeah, I am gonna put all this away. And then I'm gonna have a shower, cause I stank. And then Sam should be back, I hope. So 
Yes, I will speak to you later. So for rambling. <laughs> speak to you later. I said I was gonna stop rambling. I will in a second. But this is what I got from the garden this morning. Um, we've got black kale. Um, I don't know if you can see. Oh yeah. Ooh. We've got loads of kale plants out there. And if you harvest just the outside leaves, it keeps growing and it will do us all summer. So that's for the rabbits. And also today we've got our first broccoli. <laughs> Uh, we planted purple sprouting broccoli so we've got a big a big one there and this was a little side shoot so i'll put them in the fridge and then also we have a raspberry bush so every day we just go and check if any raspberries are ripe and two were today and then i'll show you what we do with them because we never really have like enough of time to do anything with because it's just one or two every day um we freeze them and these are all raspberries that we've grown on our little raspberry plant so i'm going to add those the pile and then Sam might have them on his breakfast or I might make some sort of fruit pie or crumble or something with them but yeah we just freeze them straight away and then they stay nice and fresh anyway I am done now hello me again I've still not had a shower <laughs> ignore that um I'm having a bit of a Emma Rogers do everything at once ADHD moment um, and I have this orchid here, let me show you. So Sam got me this orchid like a year ago, a little bit less, and it had flowers on each side, like in between the leaves, um, but then they fell off. And it's been trying to grow new plants. It was growing like out of here. And I took them out to try and promote flower growth, but it's telling me that it wants to grow just a whole new plant that's what that's telling me so honestly i don't really know anything about orchids they're not my house plant of choice usually um but i'm gonna try and chop it up so i'm gonna keep this bottom plant that it's trying to grow attached to the stem and the roots and then i'm gonna chop these up how i would a normal house plant and try and grow roots out of them so i've got a little pot with some water in, I'm gonna try and propagate these bits. I don't know if that's how orchids work. Probably not, but at least if they don't work, this should keep going and then I can just straighten it as it grows. So that's what I'm gonna do. This looks so sad now. <laughs> just a tiny little stem. So I've just chopped it completely. I've put the leaves in the compost and then I've taken those two little like growth points and put them in water to see if they start making roots or anything. That's what I do with normal house plants. If they fail, they fail, it's fine. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna keep this one. The roots look really healthy. I've just had a quick check. Um, I've just watered it as well because it was very dry. So hopefully this will grow, grow leaves. And then as it grows like outwards, I'll start propping it up against the pole again. But it just, <laughs> It looks so sad right now. Oh well. <laughs> Jurassic Park. Have you all got showered i'm ready sam's home <laughs> and he got me some presents <laughs> i'll show you you might think this is ridiculous bear with he got me a, a froggy bucket hat <laughs> a dinosaur bucket hat and i've put them on my baby odors for maximum effect 
I thought I'd just show you how we set up the bedroom for like if we have guests over. So because my nieces are only little they'll just share this little sofa bed. Um, put the bedding on it. I have these are not specifically for my nieces. I have these out all the time. These are my stuffed toys. <laughs> but yeah, I've just set it all up. Little lamp, little bedside for them. The children have gone. Any comment? Not really. They've been somewhat okay apart from this morning when Mario Kart got almost slightly too out of hand. Yeah, there was some slight violence, but we did nip it in the bud. We, we got there straight away and told people to stop it. And we've done some stuff in the garden. We if it was ice hockey, hockey, it probably would have been... There'd have been a fight, there'd have been people in the box. No, there probably wouldn't have been that. There'd have just been some little, all right, let's pack it in. Anyway. Do it again. So last night we played Mario Kart. We watched, well I watched, Matilda the Musical. And then we watched Part of School of Rock. And we had Freezer Buffet. We did. And it was all good. And then this morning we finished watching School of Rock. Played more Mario Kart. Mm -hmm. Had breakfast. And got them to help in the garden. That's all. Shall I show them what we've done in the garden? Or shall I show them later? If they want to see our washing or not? They always see our washing. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> so, oh, my crocs are wet. So, first of all, I'll show you this because it's here. Although I don't know, bear with. So we've planted some seeds for winter. So they're in there. In here, so you can just see. So we've got beans, cauliflower, uh, carrots, some chard, uh, what else? Leeks, radishes. That's all in there, ready to go for winter. And we upgraded. This was our first little lean-to greenhouse, but we've now upgraded to the big bad boy. I'll show you. This is the rest of the garden, by the way. Ignore the washing. We planted some lavender. Yeah, planted some lavender. A lot of stuff had died when we came back off holiday, didn't it? Yeah, I think it was really hot while we were away and then... Holiday vlog is coming up, Emma's just being lazy about editing. I'm not, I've not time. Go and have a peek in there. So, it's red hot. Oh my God, it's going to fog up the camera. So we've got... <laughs> you just have to see from here. So we've got chilies, strawberries. Our strawberries have gone weird. I'm asking, I'll insert a picture because I can't go in because it's too hot, but I'm asking for help about what the hell's gone wrong there. Chilies, herbs, and then we've, for our tomatoes, we've repotted them today because they're getting too big for their old pots. Too big for the boots. And we've put some string up for them to vine up instead of like steaks or whatever. Saw that on TikTok. That's what a lot of people do. So that's what we've done. And we've got our first little tomatoes coming slowly. The yellow ones. Delicious. But yeah, that is our upgraded greenhouse. Yeah. New and improved. Some lavender's been planted. Yeah, I'll show you the rest. So our sunflowers have gone crazy. We lost one. We did lose one sunflower. We planted three. We've lost one. But our sunflowers are going crazy. Giant sunflowers. Some of our bedding plants have come up. Got these. These are going crazy. The lavender that Sam's planted. We did plant them in pots, but now we've planted them outside. We planted it with a compost, com compost, compost and Sam mixture. Thank you to French farmhouse. French farmhouse Who we met in France. We did. Very nice um, people. <laughs> and yeah, the lupin. Oh, hey, okay, ignore that. The lupins have gone a bit. Oh, a bee. I think the, the, the bee. The lupin tends to piddled all over it yeah. and it's growing that many heads and we have to cut them down. So instead of big heads we've got tiny little ones but it's still growing. That's the other sunflower, giant sunflower. That's a hydrangea in the corner. Hydrangeas come back all nice. Sam's raspberry plant. I think I showed yesterday that we've got 
raspberries off it. There's a few more ready in a couple of days, a day or two. Watch out for I did pee patrol this morning. And then this has come up nice while we've been away. I don't know what it is. Sam's planted another lavender today. And this is the blueberry plant, which has got some. They're just ripening. Got some at the back as well, just waiting for them to be ready. And then this is our veg so far. I showed you yesterday. We've got broccolis off that, purple sprouting broccoli. Our carrots are doing quite well. Beetroot again, doing well. Courgette, we've got little courgettes coming. Just the start of some. And, uh, onions. I pulled up an onion today, I'll show you that in a second. Kale, I showed you that yesterday as well. And garlic. Which is just about getting rid of it. I think it? it's pretty much there, to be honest. Um, but yeah. I mean, you can pull one if you want. Looks like a garlic bulb to me. A tiny one. <laughs> oh, is there? Oh, a little tiny garlic. There you go. It would have grown bigger Ooh. if we had not planted them so close. I don't know why there's some. Well. Oh, it smells. It smells delicious. Can you smell that? Mm. Oh, a butterfly. <laughs> Distraction one over. <laughs> So that is all our veg so far. We've got plans to upgrade this. Yeah, oh no, I forgot. We've replanted our potatoes. So I'll show you. Actually, bear with me, bear with me. So this is the onion we pulled. It's only a little baby one. Because we accidentally planted multiple seeds together. So this was in like a clump of three or four. So it's only a little baby, but it is an onion. That's a fully formed onion. Oh, I'm sorry, shallot. A shallot, yeah. And then in here, not the white potatoes, but these red potatoes. We we made these. All of these. We grew those. They're like good sizes as well. Complete with dirt. So Good and good chips. Yeah, so now we're on to our, oh, focus, focus on me. So now we're on to our second batch of potatoes, ready for winter, Christmas potatoes. Oh, yes. And I'm going to do carrots and leeks in those bags as well, in those same type of bag as the potatoes. Um, but yeah, I've got to wait for them to germinate in the greenhouse first. And that is all what we've done. I'm so impressed. How excited was I when the potatoes went off? When we were harvesting the potatoes? You were right, because we were picking little ones out. And you were like, oh yeah. And then I just tipped the bag up. And then just all these bigger, larger potatoes fell out. So It was great. Our dog is losing, Ted's losing it, by the way. Oh yeah, when uh, my sister and her husband came to pick up the kids, they brought their girl dog, which you'll have seen on the vlogs before. It's just pure chaos. Ted... There's Ted. Still, there's still some scent of. Ted. <laughs> there's still some scent of. Ted's going to have a trip to the vets very soon, aren't you, mate? To have some organs removed. I had a couple of them stones I picked out. We're not, no, no. Anyway, you're all caught up. We're going to the supermarket Sorry, now. Being a bit slow. Yeah, well, I'm not going to film when the kids are here because kids in it gonna go to the supermarket because we've run out of Ted's food. Well they haven't sent it. We have Tails. Tails food and they send it every month but is eaten more than usual I don't know. Normally it lasts a month until it gets delivered but he's run out so we need to get some emergency food otherwise he'll be going hungry with no tea. That's not to say Tails isn't it good. Do you know what I fancy? An ice cream. Like uh, an ice lolly. An ice lolly. Well we are going to supermarket. Like a calippo. Well we are going to supermarket. Yeah. Anyway, bye. Does everybody like Emma's t-shirt? I showed it in the uh, festival vlog from Queens of the Stone Age. It's a nice one. We start, we're going to have to start sharing our band merch. Well, I like, pos I like posters. Yeah. Oh, I should have worn the Eagles of Death Metal one. 
with the cactus. Got another one. Anyway, we'll move on. See you later. I'll be on to. We're back from the supermarket. Sam got a Morrison salad. The Elite. There wasn't a lot of options there. No, Sunday is probably not the best day to go. No. Got an ice lolly. An ice lolly? Ice lollies. Multiple, plural. And There's a box of them. Uh, I also got stuff to make a crumble later because I just saw it. Well, saw the rhubarb and then that got me thinking. Got, can we not? Got me thinking about crumble. And then I thought, oh, I'll make an apple crumble because I've made one of them before. And then Sam was just like, why don't you make an apple and rhubarb crumble? So I'm going to make, I've got some rhubarb and some apples. I'm going to make an apple and rhubarb crumble later. I also got bubbles because I might be 25. But up here is the brain of a five-year-old. So I'm going to do that and see if Ted responds to the bubbles. Okay, plot twist. I'm I'm talking to the camera. I'm saying plot twist. I'm going to Costco now. And I'm gonna. <laughs> wear the hat that Sam got me because I think it's incredible but I don't think my mum will I'm going to Costco with my mum I'm going I don't think she'll let me walk around Costco with it we're going to see a reaction let's see if I can sneakily film it Share. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hello, Wiggles. Where's your dad? Hey. Where's your dad? Upstairs doing what? Okay. I got your present. Well. Uh, well, yeah, but that's not your present. Hello. Uh, I got your present. Oh. <laughs> A good old stocking supply of <laughs> necessary things in this house. Necessary things for a Yorkshireman. Yes. Because we're south of border in Derbyshire. <laughs> It's not the same. It's like got the same jingle as beer. Brings about the same amount of joy. <laughs> Four pack of Fendo's relish. Guess how much that was? Four pack of Fendo's. Ten pounds. Five pounds. Four pack of refried beans. <laughs> Is that your equivalent of? Yeah, I get the same amount of joy every my beans she do about hen days. With smoky chipotle, so Yeah, nice. they do so nice. Baby bells. I eat two baby bells a day. Minimum. Every day. Minimum. <laughs> baby bells. Some stuff, socks, and chim leggings. And I also had an ice cream. I didn't wear the hat round Costco. No? No. Rubbish. Soz. I panicked. Rubbish. 
Or in the car. What was said about that? Uh, they like the hat. Do they? Yeah, Paul likes the hat. I'm glad it went down well. I don't think they'd like it if I wore it seriously around them. But I think they yeah, liked the joke. You wouldn't wear a three piece suit and then a bucket hat with a frog and smiley face, smiley face frog. Right? It's cute. Mm. Now I'm back, I think I'm just gonna put uh, the apple crumble on. Well, I'm going to start stewing the apples in the rhubarb because I like it to be stewed for quite a long time before it goes into the oven in the crumble. So I'm going to do that now and I'll show you how I do it. Crumbles are very individual, I would say. Hang on, let me just check Ted's. Hang on, bear with me. I'm back. Just had to stop Teddy in literally pure plastic. Love that. Anyway, yeah, everyone does apple crumble differently. I just wing it. Like all my baking. Um... So I'll show you what I put in it. I've just noticed, right, can anyone help us? The other day I had the door, the kitchen door and the kitchen window open and there was a swarm of flies, right? And it's happened again, let me show you. Does anyone know what these are? They're everywhere, they're tiny, tiny, tiny little flies and they get everywhere. And if you know what they are and how to stop them coming in, that would be fantastic. Let us know in the comments. Anyway, I'm gonna make this crumble. and the rhubarb and I've put it on the hob and I'm going to put in some water, quite a bit of water to be honest, um, some brown sugar, some white sugar and then some cinnamon, nutmeg, whatever else I find but I'll, I'll tell you what I put in in the end. ignore all the sounds in the background I ended up putting a little bit of ground ginger like half a teaspoon of ground ginger half a teaspoon of nutmeg a full teaspoon of cinnamon three tablespoons of brown sugar three tablespoons of caster sugar and I filled it with water let me show you I filled it with water so it's almost covering the fruit I'm gonna let that get hot but not boil it might be nearly there now actually turn it to literally the lowest it will go and put a lid on it and then I'm gonna leave that I'll check on it every probably 15 minutes 20 minutes I might leave that for about an hour to be honest to let it just go um, and stew down and I'll show you if there's any progress on that it looks pretty stormy up there We've just rushed and got all the washing in because um, <laughs> it looks like it's going to throw it down. Yeah, now it's raining and thundering. What do you think? Oh, Ted. What do you think, mate? See, Ted always looks like he wants to go outside in the rain. But then you let him outside, as evidenced in a vlog a couple of weeks ago, and he immediately runs back in because he don't like it. Ted? Ted? Hello, gorgeous. Hello, Waggy. <laughs> I 
I don't love thunderstorms. <laughs> so I'm trying to make myself... Sam, you like thunderstorms, don't you? I like them. But um, I'm trying to make myself feel better by making it feel cosy. So I've lit the candles. I've got a coffee. Six o'clock, probably not the right time to have a coffee, but here we are. Put the bun's little lights on. <gasps> oh my God, I don't know if you can hear that, but... Ted's not too bad with thunderstorms. He just barks a little bit, but he doesn't get super anxious or anything. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna try and <laughs> ride it out. Not like, I wouldn't say I'm scared of thunderstorms, just they put me on edge slightly. But yeah, I'm gonna ride it out, drink my coffee, try and feel cozy. And uh, yeah. Currently just editing the holiday vlog <laughs> that should have been up last week that hasn't been put up yet. Sam is playing a game. I am. Ted is. Believe it or not, this game makes gamers have to meet, communicate with each other. Oh, I haven't really is it toxic or not? No, no, no. It's proper like teamwork stuff. Oh, nice. So anyway, just editing the holiday vlog. Um, got a little. You know, check it out on Sunday night when. And there, uh, yeah. The crumble is still crumbling downstairs. Still cooking. still cooking, taking slightly longer than anticipated, but it's okay. Um, That's alright. <laughs> Sam's computer is slowly uh, cooking us to death. I'm next to the window, I'm not Sam's computer slash electric heater chucks out so much heat which is great because we dry our washing in this room <laughs> so in winter so in winter fantastic in summer not so much so slowly cooking to death you can see i'm very shiny i was being well as well today yeah it's red hot again the like temperature things on our central heating say so it's like 26 degrees inside the house mm. new and build then, like, even when it was like stormy and like the rain came down it was still like red hot. <laughs> like, yeah. I opened up the windows and it was still like, and the breeze when the wind was flying through, and the moment the wind went, it went back up to 25. Click a finger. Yeah. So, new builds. Brilliant in the winter. Our heating bill was Not lower than other people's. Not low, but lower than other people's. Summer, don't want the installation. That 40 mil of insulation, get it, get it gone. I'm done. I want no insulation in this house in the summer. I can see someone over there has got an aircon unit hanging out of their window mm. and I'm like, oh, tasty a little bit of aircon. Anyway, that's what we're doing. So the crumble filling is now more of a mush, which is how I like it. And you can sort of run a spatula through it and see the bottom, which is the consistency I like. I would taste it, but it's going to be the temperature of the sun. So we're just going to have to wing it and I'll show you how I do the topping now. So this is what I'm going to use for the crumble topping. Butter, plain flour. I put a few oats in mine, but that's not standard, I don't think. And brown sugar again. And I'm just going to put some butter in there. Wow, I'm a brain. Put some butter in there. Put a little bit of flour, a little bit of oats, a little bit of sugar, and then rub it together. Um, cold fingers, clean fingers. Um, yeah, I'll show you that. So then you can see it's like breadcrumb consistency. I'm gonna put the oats and some sugar in it. If you wanted to put any like spices in it, I guess you'd do it now, but I like just a buttery, crumbly topping. So I'm gonna let the fruit be the flavour and just let the crumble be nice and buttery and crispy. So these are the dishes I'm going to cook it in. 
I think this is a good size for the main one and then I'm gonna make a little individual one from my mum because when I went to Costco I told her I was gonna make one and she looked like she was about to cry that I wasn't gonna give her any so make a little individual one for my mum main one in here put that into here crumble on top Bob's your uncle so they are done crumble I like to go heavy on the crumble it's apple and rhubarb crumble like crumble is half of the entire recipe so I like to go heavy on the crumble I'm going to put them in the oven I've set it to 200 but I put everything at 200 so don't take that as gospel I'm going to put it in the oven for like 20 minutes between 20 minutes and half an hour I'll check on it and when the crumble's nice and golden and crispy that's when I'll take it out Hello again. Crumble is almost ready. I put it on for 20 minutes to begin with. It's almost ready, but I put it on for an extra 10 so that top gets extra crispy. We're still, it's quarter past, nine, 20 past nine. We're still waiting for it. Anyway, I've promised Sam I was gonna make bread for ages. I have a bread maker, bread maker. Throwback to the first ever vlog. Made bread, doing it again. Wow. I follow a Scottish mum bread maker recipe i'll link it below it's the best um use the little packets of yeast don't use the tub of yeast it goes off it stops working use the little packets of yeast that is my tip um and yeah i'm gonna make some fresh bread so it'll be nice and ready for the morning then sam can have it on toast or i don't eat bread so it's no use to me but then sam can have it on toast <laughs> for his sandwiches or what have you, so I'm gonna do that. bish bash bosh beautiful bread um i'm gonna just do basic bread with this recipe um so i'm gonna set it this should be a 900 gram loaf we like it dark crust actually how do i do that 900 gram loaf color dark and if i set it off going now it would take three hours ten minutes but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna adjust it so it's ready in the morning so sam gets up about six so half nine, half ten, half eleven, half twelve, half two, half three, half four, half five, half six. So in nine hours it'll be half six. Oh Alexa's about to go off. Hang up. Alexa, stop. So we want it done in eight and a half hours. So if I set this to be eight and a half. should be ready at six in the morning so i'm gonna just click go this is blinking which means it's set and ready and the bread will be ready at six in the morning all the ingredients are in there bish bash bosh fresh bread in the morning beautiful so this is the crumble beautiful oozy ten thousand degrees right now a little one for my mum. I'll let that cool off and give it a tomorrow. I'm seeing it tomorrow, so I can give it a then. And the crumble, we're gonna have it with ice cream. So I'm gonna plate that up and take it up now. And there we go, beautiful. This is the ice cream we're having, clotted cream ice cream. Beautiful, I'll take that up now. We're eating our crumble in bed. Oh, the fan's gonna make the most awful noise, bear with. It is fan season. It is. it is no duvet in fan season. 
Anyway, we're in a crumbling bed. <laughs> crumbling bed's a bit of a winter food, isn't it? Not really 26 degrees food. Yeah, but it's really nice. Is it good? On a scale of 1 to 10, give me your uh, uh, restaurant review. <laughs> I've not tried it yet. I would say it's at least an 8 because you get a lot of tartness. Okay, I put a lot of sugar in. Mm. You get some, yeah, but you still get some tartness because oh, of the, the rhubarb. And then you put cinnamon in it, right? Yeah. Yeah, you can taste that. The only thing it's lacking is probably the apple, but I think that's probably because it's overtaken by... Uh, yeah, the, the ratio of apple to rhubarb was, rhubarb. was like yeah. 2 to 1. I'd have just eaten the rhubarb. If you gave me some rhubarb, you said, oh, we've got some left over, I'd just eat it. Anyway, we're eating this in bed. We are. We're going to go sleep. It is half nine. Yes. Way past our bedtime. So, <laughs> I'm going to say goodnight. <laughs> and we will see you in the next one. Mm. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. The crumble has left the building. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.